Recall that a sequence in Python is a collection of data that can be referenced by using a single name. So, the variable colors here refers to a collection of three strings that represent colors. Recall also that you can still get to the items of the collection by indexing, like this. Colors, open bracket, zero, close bracket, refers to the beginning item of the sequence, here the string red. Colors 1 refers to the next item of the sequence, here the string white. And colors 2 refers to the item after that, here the string blue. Again, the notation is the sequence name, here colors, followed by an open square bracket symbol, followed by a non-negative integer called the index that specifies which item of the sequence is being referenced, followed by a closed square bracket symbol. Again, the number in the square brackets is called the index, and the things in the sequence are called the items, or equivalently, the elements of the sequence. We use the word items and elements interchangeably. Note that indexing starts at 0, not at 1. It works that way for historical reasons that go back to the underlying hardware. The fact that the beginning index is 0 leads to a potential gotcha when referring to the last element of the sequence. Let's look at an example. Consider the cool words list here. It has four items numbered 0, 1, 2, and 3. So referring to the bracket 3 item is fine. That refers to the last item in the sequence. Similarly, since the len function, the length function, returns 4 as the length of the sequence, Using the length minus 1 as the index also refers to the last item and is perfectly fine. But if you attempt to reference cool words bracket 4, that is one past the end of the list and causes the code to die at the attempted reference. Likewise, using the length of the list as the index means going one past the end of the list and again causes the code to die. To repeat, the allowable range for an index of a sequence is from 0 to the length of the sequence minus 1. When a statement executes with an index that is not within the range for the sequence, Python produces a runtime error message like that shown. Index out of range is the key expression. Bottom line, first, be familiar with this index out of range error message and realize that if you get it, you should simply check the index that you used. Second, avoid this off by one error. That is, be mentally tough and use the length of the sequence minus one if you want to refer to the last item of the sequence.